Hey everybody, look where we are. If you're a veteran of the Baseball Card Illustrated channel, you know that this is the Salvation Army in Oak Creek, which means it's time for Fat Daddy's Card Show. Hello friends, I'm Bronco, the PSA 11, and to my right is Harry Doyle, otherwise known as Showtime. But it's Card Show Day, and like you can see, this happy guy right there with his cart ready to load up more stuff, that's what we're about to do. We're gonna get the car unloaded, and then set up a table with all kinds of great cards, which we'll show you inside. So strap in, get set, get ready. Get your popcorn, yeah? Cracker Jacks? Whatever, whatever you need to do. Because Baseball Card Illustrator is coming at you with another card show video. Before we get started with the setup, I want to show you an exclusive, the brand new Rob Deere starting line of World Tour shirts. Coming soon to a re retail location near you. Well, probably not. But if you want to stop by the show, we can negotiate an offer on one of these. But for now, I got to give, well, the second off the line to Showtime for all the great camera work here. So, with that said, I'm going to get all these cards set up, all these boxes. I'm going to take you for a tour here from Oak Creek. With 12 minutes to spare, I am set up and ready to go. So what we have today is the dollar box, which includes for every $10 you spend, you get a mystery envelope. Got a couple boxes here available. And today we're going to put out some Packer cards, see if anybody's interested in those. We've got some Romeo Dobbs, obviously some Jordan Love, which I expect to be a big seller today. And then we've got our selection of Bucks autographs including the honest rookie card there. Baseball photographs priced as marked. We got Brewer pitchers here. And we got Brewer hitters here, including some Christian Yelich up there. This guy right here, Joey Weimer, just got called up to the big leagues overnight. So we'll see if there's any takers on that card. Football and basketball autographs is marked there. And a selection of rookie cards, including a whole bunch of Shohei rookies and some wrestling since WrestleMania, the two-day extravaganza starts today, including this box for 20 bucks there. And I'm gonna also do a bonus here, show you what Showtime has on his table today. And take a look there, a bunch of good Brewers stuff. And uh, which Orioles rookie is that? Adley Rushman, that's a good deal. Had the huge opening day. We got some assorted boxes of football. I see some basketball. I think there's some wrestling in here today as well. So we're all set, ready to rock and roll from Oak Creek, and I gotta give you my picks to click. So today, I am going to predict, I'm gonna say this Corbin Burns right here is gonna sell, so that'll be a success. And the card that I don't think is going to sell, I'm gonna go with, Gilbert Brown, and I make that as an interesting pick because I've sold a lot of Gilbert Brown autographs, but I just don't think today is gonna to be the day. So this time I will report back and let you know how we did, and of course we'll check in throughout the course of the show. I think sometimes there's the misconception that every deal at a card show is a big deal, and this ended up being a big deal because of the number of cards involved, but as you can see, most of them are at lower values, and you know I enjoy watching like Card Collector too operated shows but i'm certainly not operating in that hemisphere but anyway just wanted to bring you the cards in one deal here that i made that involves a lot of different variety which makes it fun we got some brewers we got some bucks and a couple other cards that are sort of randomly thrown in here so my buddy driller just stopped by and bought this sweet jack sigma relic card and I'm going to throw in one of these bonus mystery envelopes. Oh, so I'll let you go ahead and pick one of those. Hey, oh. Legend. Legend. The legend. Normally I do these if you buy $10 worth of cards out of the bonus, or out of the dollar box, but we're going to throw this in. Okay, go ahead. What do you got? Hermetically sealed. <laughs> oh. And we've got... Oh. A Relic Omar card Vizquel, of Omar Relic. Vizquel. That's awesome. So that's a little throw in here. Thank you, on man. The Baseball Card Illustrated channel. See what you can get if you come to the show and talk to Bronco and buy some of his stuff. And a bunch of Yelich cards, too. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Definitely. <Hold on>. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't been able to do a ton of buying today, but I was able to get out and find this stack of cards for 15 bucks. We won't talk about what team that guy was on. Autograph. 
pretty sweet looking relic of the All-Star and MVP. Here's Bobby Portis. Chris Humphreys autograph. Got Jordan Love mixed in there. Got a relic card. Got Justin Jefferson. That's just a sweet looking card. Tua, it's a nice prism right there. And our last card is the great Bo Jackson. There's been a lot of people who have stopped by that said that they watch these videos and enjoy the channel. So first of all, to those that said that and stopped by, thank you very much. And it was nice to see all of you come out today. The other thing is a lot of people have asked the picks, did I do well or not? So this would be a not, but if you saw it earlier, this would be a hit. So I guess I'm one for two. Although in fairness, on the way over this morning, I was thinking that Joey Weimer had some mojo first Bowmans that I was gonna make my pick to click and those are long gone. So if I would have gone with that, I would have been correct. Anyway, we got about another hour or so to go here from the Salvation Army in Oak Creek. We'll see if there's any more deals to be made, like this wrestling autograph that no longer is there. Don't let this empty looking room confuse you. It's toward the end of the show. But I just spoke with the promoter, Tony, great guy. And he said that there were more than 850, close to 900 people here today, which for spring break week, very good numbers. Very happy with that. And by the way, if you ever come out to the show, it's a buck to get in, well worth it. You even get a free pack if you stop by and see the lovely Mrs. Tony, his wife, at their table. So anyway, we're going to take one more look around here, see if we can find any other deals before we wrap things up. Well, it looks like that's a wrap from Fat Daddy's Car Show here in Elk Creek, but i got to show you my last deal. I bought a whole bunch of Jordan Love cards I'll be taking to an upcoming show in Green Bay. So if you're up in that area, you're gonna be headed to that card show and need some Jordan Love rookies, come find me. Also, I'm not gonna to forget today, here's the update. Unfortunately, I was not correct. Corbin Burns did not sell, but I was correct on Gilbert Brown not selling. I think I'm probably the only person ever to be happy that something didn't sell, right? Anyway, I'd like to thank you for taking along and enjoying Fat Daddy's card show with us. As always, on behalf of Kevin the Diamond King, our graphics guru Dylan, and the man behind the phone, Showtime, who's learned some major league lines today, right? That's a yes. Dynamite drop in, Monty. So long, everybody. You've been watching the Baseball Card Illustrated channel.